Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Now this morning I thought I would film a quick 10 minute yoga flow for busy mums. Um, I know that we don't have a lot of time even though we are isolated at the moment and staying indoors. Um, it still is really busy when you have children and you don't have a lot of time for yourself. Um, but I thought I'd film this and show you what I personally do every day. I normally have my nine month old crawling all over me and I'm stopping and starting. Um, but you know what? That's just the way it is and I still get up and I still do it. Even on the days when you really don't feel like it, all you want to do is sit in your robe and drink coffee. I think it's really important to just mark out these 10 minutes for yourself in the morning and just get it done. And it doesn't matter how you feel. So the way that you feel is completely fine. Whether you are up and you feel great, you've got your gym gear on, awesome. Um, if you're still in your pajamas and your hair's in a messy bun, great. So just get it done if you can and I, I guarantee you, you will feel better after it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna show you what I do of a morning. It's going to be for beginners. It's very gentle and it's quite slow, but it's a really good way to get into yoga to, to sort of get a feel for what the positions are and um, just be comfortable with it. Now, something that I really want um, to talk about is setting intentions before you do your yoga flow. So um, whatever you want to achieve for the day or how you want to feel, just set some sort of positive intention um, and just, yeah, just sort of ponder on that and see how you feel at the end of it. Now, what I want you guys to think about today I was actually thinking about this last week and I quickly wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. But try and get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So what I mean by that is um, yoga, you know, there's a lot of stretching and it can be, it can be uncomfortable, let's be honest. So what we want to do is we want to breathe into the feeling of being uncomfortable and be okay with it. And this really bleeds out into the rest of the world, especially today. Um, You'll see it in so many aspects of your life that you're uncomfortable because that's just what life is. We're not always happy and joyful, you know, we, we get moody and things go wrong and we're always in our heads, we're overthinking and, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. So what I want you to think about today as you're doing this yoga flow is to really just be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You know, when your muscles are starting to, to hurt a little bit, be okay with that, you know? And um, you'll sort of see that, yeah, really take place in the rest of your life and things that make you feel a little bit uneasy. You just learn to be okay with it and, you know, keep going. So I, I do wanna actually talk a lot more about this because it goes into the meditation side of things. Um, but I just wanted you to think about that while we do this 10 minute flow and um, we'll see how you feel at the end of it. So let's begin. Starting with our seated cat cow. We're going to round the spine and tuck the chin and exhale, open the chest and lift the head. Make sure you're really rounding that spine and tucking that chin down before opening the chest. Let's do this a few more times before we begin stretching. So we're going to begin to stretch out our legs. We're going to take our right arm and grab our left ankle and simply lift the leg and hold. Now, if you can't lift the leg right up, no problem, just bend your knee or extend if this is an option for you. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our left arm and extend it all the way out and twist our upper body. And just hold this pose. If you need to bend your knee, go for it. But if you can extend, great. Make sure you open your chest up as you hold this position. Then we're simply going to switch and do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to take our left arm, raise the right leg, hold. 
Again, if you need to bend your knee, that's no problem. Open up your right arm and hold. And then we're going to come down and place our chest to our legs and just hold this position and breathe. Okay, now we're going to get onto all fours. And again, we're going to do the cat cow position, but from our knees this time. So we're going to round our back and then arch and look up. So really tuck your pelvis under and then extend. So we'll do this a couple more times, really warming up our back before we go into the next move. Okay, I needed a quick wardrobe change because it was getting quite cold, but straight back into it. Let's tuck the toes, and I want you to lift the knee slightly above the ground, only a few inches, and just hover here, bracing the core. Okay, now come on down. And we're going to go into our first position, which is downward facing dog. So lift up. And if you want, you can feel free to walk out the feet, really get a nice stretch in the calves and the back of your legs, just gently. You don't wanna to feel too much pain here. And try and get your feet flat. Then we're gonna move into lifting the leg and bending the knee, flex the foot, and really try and stack the hips. Then we're gonna bring the knee down Bring it to chest and go ahead and do 10 pumps. Really trying to get your knee to each elbow. Then back to downward facing dog. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. So lift the leg, bend the knee and flex the foot. Stack the hips before coming down, bringing your knee to your chest straight into those side pumps. Then from here back to resting position, which is your downward facing dog. Okay, now into plank position and straight into chaturanga, up into the upward facing dog. Now, if you need, you can go onto your knees before taking the chaturanga pose, whatever feels comfortable for you at this time. Now we're going to go into downward facing dog. Now hop or jump or step if you like to the top of your mat. Take a big breath in. We're gonna go into chair pose. Just hold this for a moment. Now we're going to take a forward bend, halfway up. Bend the knees if this feels more comfortable for you or extend them. Now roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Take another big breath in, back down into chair pose, and we're just gonna lift the heels and hold this position for a couple of seconds. And forward bend, halfway up, Full fold, big breath in, and bring your hands to your heart. So my child is now screaming in the background, so it's the perfect time to take a couple of deep breaths in and really become centered before you head off and be a mum today. So thanks guys for being here with me and I will see you all again next time. I hope you have a lovely day.